I'm Phoebe, live from Orleans Park School. And we're here with the latest news coming up in the next few minutes. First up, Sphere, the subject of homelessness. What do you think about it? In this day and age, it's hard to believe that over 130 people sleep in Richmond sleep rough every night. Here is Morgan giving us more information on the story. Over to you, Morgan. Last week, Sphere, a local homeless charity, came to visit Orleans Park School in Richmond. I was lucky enough to speak to Heidi about her work with Spear. Spear is a local homeless charity that's been helping people suffering from homelessness for 30 years um, in the South West London area. We're not celebrating the fact that we're still here 30 years later. Um, it's actually about saying to people we're still needed 30 years mm -hmm. later. The homelessness over the last five years has, has doubled. So our services are needed as much now as they as they were when we first started. Yeah. Heidi invited me to come to Spears office in Twickenham, where I met Daniel, one of the people the charity has helped. He told me his story. I experienced being homeless when I was about twelve. We had we had a house fire in my house and we become homeless so we had to find elsewhere to live. Once one bad thing happens, another bad thing happens. And before you know it, you're in the situation of being homeless. You feel isolated from, from your family, from, mm -hmm. you feel isolated from just the general public. You feel like no one cares. I spoke to Stuart, who runs there. Homelessness isn't just about not having somewhere to live. Um, so it's a symptom, if you like, of someone's life there being other problems and difficulties in someone's life that's led to that situation and, and there's a human being in the middle of that situation. What misconceptions do you think members of the community might have about homelessness? I think sometimes people look at homeless people and think it's their fault and that they're to blame yeah. and it's not a choice. No one chooses to be living on the streets. To be able to make changes in your life, you need to feel confidence. You need to think it's possible to change. You need a support network. You need opportunities, you need some stability. Spears' actual saying is from homelessness to independence. How would you say that members of the community could get involved and do their bit for Spear? It's about understanding what we do and spreading the word about what we do and telling people about us and telling people about Spear and being ambassadors for Spear. I spoke to Rosalind, one of the sixth form students in our school, who volunteered with Spear. I definitely think about the issue more and definitely aware of it as a local issue rather than something that you know you shouldn't think about in London because it's a wealthy city. Yeah. Um, and every time I walk past a homeless person, I think about how Spear could help them. It's because we see it every day when we walk to school and when we walk home. It's an amazing thing to see when you see somebody who's gone from one place to a much more positive place and changing their lives. And with a bit of help, a lot of people can, can get to that place. This is Morgan, BBC News School Report, Orleans Park School.